Hey guys, assalamualaikum. Welcome back to another virtual lecture. In today's video, we're going to learn about a new distribution called the F distribution. Now before this, we've been using the Z distribution and the T distribution. So how is F distribution different from these two? Let's take a look at its characteristics. Now before, with the Z and the T distribution, they are both characterized by the mean and standard deviation. However, for the F, this particular distribution is determined by two parameters, which are degrees of freedom in the numerator and degrees of freedom in the denominator. Later, when we look at the F distribution table, I will show you what this means. Secondly, the F distribution is also a continuous distribution, just like the Z and the T. However, it is positively skewed in that the smallest value is zero and the largest number is positive infinity, which means the values for the F distribution cannot be negative. F distribution is positively skewed, which means it has a longer tail to the right, and it is also asymptotic, just like the Z and the T, whereby F approaches infinity, um, so that the curve approaches the x-axis but never actually touches it. Okay, let's do a little bit of illustration on the shapes of the Z, the T, and the F distribution. So if you remember, for the Z distribution, Okay, this is roughly how it looks like. So this is all of your Z values. Okay, and then you remember how the T distribution looks like? It's somewhat uh, flatter, right? It's flatter. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so as you can see here, both of these curves are continuous. Okay, and they are both asymptotic, meaning that the edges of the curve do not touch the x-axis. And the center here, because it's, um, you know, symmetrical, the center here is whenever you... Uh, whenever we standardize the x values, okay, it becomes zero for both the z and the t. All right. So as you can see, it's because it's symmetrical, the smallest value is negative infinity because it will go on and on to that way is very very small, so negative or minus infinity, and the biggest value would be a positive infinity, very very large. Okay. Now compare um, to the z and the t. This is how the f distribution looks like. It is positively skewed, guys, meaning it is still continuous. No continuous, just like the Z and the T. However, the F distribution is positively skewed in that it has a longer tail to the right. So it is the F. So what that means is, if it's positively skewed, right? Okay. Okay, this is where it's different. It's only asymptotic here, this part. Here, it starts at zero. Okay, so this is what it means. The smallest value is zero, but the biggest number stretches until positive infinity. Okay, so if this is zero, Oops, okay, this is zero. Okay, so this is what it means by a positively skewed distribution. Whereas if you can compare here with the z and the t, the zero is in the center, right? So if zero is in the center, you can have the negative values to the left and positive values to the right. Let's take a look at how the F distribution table looks like. Okay, so there are two pages. On the first page is the F distribution at the 5% level of significance, and on the second page is F distribution at the 1% significance level. So here's a sketching of the F distribution to show that it's positively skewed. As you can see here, the smallest value is zero, and the maximum or the biggest value is a positive infinity. Okay, so remember just now I mentioned about the one of the characteristics is that the F distribution is characterized by two degrees of freedom. One is degrees of freedom of the numerator, and here's the degrees of freedom of the denominator. So do you remember how to calculate degrees of freedom, right? It's sample size minus 1, so n minus 1. So we will see here, and we'll also calculate 1 here, and then we will find where they both match. So we've already seen how the F distribution looks like. Later on, when we look at some examples, I'll show you how to read the table. Alright, so as for the applications of the F distribution, it's actually used in many different types of tests. But for the purpose of our lectures, we will only be learning two of those tests. Okay, so the first test that uses the F distribution is where we want to compare two population variances. Okay, so this test is also known as the equality of variance test. Secondly, we also use the F distribution when we want to compare several population means simultaneously. That means at the same time. Okay, so this type of test is known as the analysis of variance or ANOVA. 